Good morning! Good morning, friends! Good morning from New Orleans! New Orleans! We are doing a walking tour today. Look at that fringe, it's really fancy, voluptuous. We are doing a walking tour today, which I'm so excited about! Love doing a walking tour, but it can't be longer than two hours. Once it hits the two hour mark, I'm done. That's it. Can't concentrate anymore. Anyways, we're gonna go grab ourselves a coffee. Not from the place we went to yesterday. The vegan bakery was stunning, but the coffee wasn't great. So we're going to a place that's literally a two minute drive or a one minute drive, I can't remember. And then we're gonna head to our walking tour, which is in the French quarters, I think. So we have to find parking and stuff. And that's been a little bit kind of challenging, confusing. Paid for parking yesterday, but I don't think anyone else did. So, I mean, peace of mind and all that. But yeah, yeah. let's go guys, let's go. And it's getting up to 20 degrees today. 20 to zero. <laughs> we have found our coffee place. It's called Low Points. Aww. In we go. Okay, we have arrived at our starting location for our walking tour. And it's a real small walking tour. It's only three groups. So let's get started. Oh, Jackson Square. Cool. So nice. Voodoo shop, voodoo store. So we just finished our walking tour. Very good, our tour guide was so knowledgeable. Oh my God. We got to like see all the different architectures, really felt all the history behind it, history behind music. Loads of information about, about voodoo, yeah. which is just insane. Yeah, just kind of also the history of New Orleans. It was so good, amazing. Okay, we're back in Breads on Oak. Yeah. We've got a cookie to start with and we both ordered a sandwich so i got like a tofu sorry i thought someone said jesse a tofu one with i think bacon i'll show you when it comes out and you've got one with like sausage but it's like 20 minute away so we just got a cookie to start with that was unreal mm -hmm. okay our food has arrived they're like the biscuit things which kind of remind me of scones so i got scrambled tofu bacon cheese and you've got the same except hers is with sausage yours actually looks unreal okay we just got ourselves an iced latte and they did have coconut milk but they didn't <laughs> it was they were out of it it was on the menu though so i got oat and you've got soy and yet yeah, it is and guys it is warm out it's 20 degrees <gasps> gorgeous out so finished eating our food i really like that do you like it it's a little dry but like it's it's yeah. a scone it's a, biscuit. it's a biscuit as they say over here so that was delicious and actually when you think about it, it wasn't that bad i think yours was 650 and yeah. mine was eight dollars yeah. like that's yeah was not it, like, bad. it's really weird that yours was more expensive i'd say it's the bacon oh yeah maybe. i'd say sausage patties are just like more available anyways so we're going to le lure that's the cemetery. We would have seen that on our on our walk. Yeah, it's close to the general public, which it wasn't always. Also, there was the, there was a, a massive Irish population here, which we didn't know about. Yeah. We knew they moved to like New York and Boston, but we didn't know about New Orleans, New Orleans. But a huge majority of them died because of yellow fever. Anyway, so we're going to La Lure La Lure Mansion, which is meant to be one of the most haunted places, buildings here in New, New Orleans. Actually, to be fair, there's loads of haunted buildings. It's huge crazy, history. huge history. And we learned actually a good bit about it on our walking tour. But 
Thanks, William. Shout out, William. Actually, I will leave his. Yeah, we'll leave. Yeah. I'll get the where I got the tickets now. Yeah, also. the company links below. There's loads of like haunted stuff. Some good, some bad. Anyways, we're going to this woman's mansion. She was not a nice woman. Serial killer. She tortured and murdered her slaves. She tortured and murdered her slaves, if you didn't hear that. So, not a nice person. But um, we're going to go check out the building anyways. This is it. This is what it looks like. The mansion. But apparently this is rented out now, so people actually live in there. Well, I'd say it's quite scary. Mm. I'd say a lot of strange things happen in there. This is it then for us from the opposite side. It's pretty big. Jackson Square. So we're just heading over there because that's where we'll be able to see the Mississippi River. So and our tour guide recommended to me. Oh sorry, we go check that out. We just went to a really cool shop. Yeah. It was called Glitterbox and we both got a pair of earrings. So I will show you them when we get home, but they are very cool. Very cool. Very cheap cool. The train thing must go through here. I wonder was this the train that we saw the other day? We're just gonna go up these steps and we're gonna see the river. It's called the Moonwalk. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Sure is wide. Oh. oh yeah. We are back in the Airbnb. We had a little sit down. We had a little rest. I just want to show you guys my new earrings. Okay. Are you ready? These are probably the coolest earrings I've ever owned. And I own some cool earrings. Oh yeah, they're Tamagotchis, all right. Oh, and do they work? Yep. Yep, they work. They certainly do. They even have the tabs, so they haven't been pulled out yet. So, these got a full battery. I'm sorry, they are the fucking coolest things ever. And they don't feel too heavy. I mean, together they feel heavy, but one doesn't feel too bad. So, I'm kind of hoping they're okay. Obviously, you can't try them on. I'm just going to show you Eve's ones. Eve got little mushroom ones. Very 70s, very Eve. Flyer and mushrooms. Yellow, gorgeous, stunning. So we were kind of just regrouping and thinking what to do. So we're gonna go to Buffalo Exchange, which is a thrift store. We went to a couple of them in New York City, baby. Wait, did we go to them in Japan as well? Was that Buffalo know, Exchange? That was Tokyo Exchange. Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're gonna go there. Check it out. Opens till eight o'clock. It's like oh, that was Chicago. Chicago. Great. Something. Yeah. Chicago. So yeah, it's on Magazine Street. Okay. And do you know what's so annoying? It was right where we were parked. It was just a little bit down. We walked in the opposite direction the last day, yesterday. So that's a little annoying. A little annoying. So, anyways, we're gonna go check that out because the parking wasn't too expensive, anyways. So let's go do that, and then we might go to a local bar later. <laughs> We are home from Buffalo Exchange. I'll show you my items that I got real quick. Real quick up in here. You'll have seen that I tried on that purple top. That came home with me. So here it is. Stunning, gorgeous. And then I got this silvery holographical skirt. It's a tiny bit big, but I can just kind of wear it a little bit lower towards the hip. Not fully on the hips, like it's still high rise. But I'll just, I'll be wearing something underneath it anyways because it's like super short. So I might be wearing like cycling shorts, which then will 
You could get purple ones with some match. Oh, them. that would be cool. Yeah. Little lilac ones. Mm. Either way, I'll be wearing something underneath it, so it'll kind of thicken out here. That was maybe 10, 14, and this was 16. So not the cheapest, but I just think they're super cute. And if you were to get them at home, they'd be like crazy prices. They'd be crazy. So we're gonna have some soup and bread and butter. We got that tomato soup, so we're gonna eat that. See what that's about. So I actually think we're gonna stay in for the night. We're just like, Kind of tired, want to chill out. And we're only really going out for the sake of it, do you know that sort of way, so. Actually, in Buffalo Exchange, the girl that was serving us, as in like, behind the till, she was saying she's playing the gig tomorrow, so we might check her out at her place. Is that like half seven? I think she's doing one at half seven and half nine in the same place. So we might check that out. Yeah, there's one place, one particular bar we definitely want to go to, so we might do that during the day, because they do like a purple slushy drink, and it's meant to be really tasty. So we might check that out during the day, and it's like 20 two degrees tomorrow which is even hotter than today hotter than hell picking out the shorts for tomorrow so yeah we're just gonna shower chill out maybe watch some youtube and then get up bright and early tomorrow and enjoy ourselves we might do more thrifting tomorrow as well so yeah i shall check in in the margin good morning for our last day in new orleans new orleans new orleans okay this is the otd otd Got my little blue cardi that I thrifted in Japan. I think these are from Spice Vintage. Looks like something would have gotten off Spice Vintage. This, I actually think is pennies. And yeah, I'm looking good. I guess should. It's getting up to 22 degrees today, baby. So what's the POA for today? We're gonna get some epinadas. <laughs> Beignets. Beignets. <laughs> uh, some vegan beignets because they do consist of egg and milk, so the real ones. So we're going to go to a vegan place and get beignets. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Why am I trying to make it Spanish? Beignets. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna do some thrifting. I don't know what we're gonna do first, but obviously I'm gonna bring y'all along on the journey with me. And we need to get that purple slushy drink because it looks delicious. Um, <coughs> dying for a little slushy, a little slush moment, a little slush hush. Oh God. Anyways, that's the POA. So let's get on the road. We got a little iced coffee at the place we went to yesterday where we met for our walking tour. And we are at our first thrift store, which is called Bridge House. So let's get the fuck in there. In we go, thrift store entrance. To be honest lads that was a little bit of a letdown did you was was that like recommended on tiktok mm. interesting mm, but it was a man so maybe it's better for men yeah true like when i went in it was just color everywhere and i was like yeah. yes perfect i'm gonna love this but it was kind of it was giving like l1 vibes yeah wasn't it yeah maybe it's great if you're an l1 but uh nothing took my fancy and also like the prices i they just weren't it like i seen no. like a dress and it was like forever 21 it was like 21 euro no. or dollars i was like no, you can't charge her for Forever 21. No. Second hand fast fashion. No. no. You're making too much money. On Way it. too much money. Like that, that person might not even have bought it for that price. Yeah. So, no. I say no, thank you. No, thank you. So, what do we do now? Do we want to get the uh, beignets? The beignets. Or do we want to go to another thrift store? Maybe get beignets. Or would you Beignet. prefer? A beignet. I don't mind. Okay, we are parked. We had such um a journey getting here the sat nav is like a little outdated for the most part she's good but like she'll tell you to take an exit she'll be like 12d but then the next one is 12b so you're like okay it's not this one it must be like the next one or the second one after but it's not she actually meant you to take 12b do you know so it's just like certain things aren't like fully up to date which is very frustrating especially when you're on the fucking highway or the freeway 
and people are going freaking fast or then she just won't give you an instruction and then you'll miss it or you're kind of just guessing it so that was a little bit scary but anyways we're here parked up where we parked up yesterday and we are going to get some beignets so let's go do that sorry look at the weather look at that weather baby look at it look at it we have arrived at the french market we are getting our beignets and we're going to get gumbo food has arrived it took a few minutes but that's okay so this is our gumbo which is like a traditional meal here but obviously it's full of meat yeah it's shrimp shrimp but um yeah we got a vegan version so let's tuck in oh oh Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> it's like a stew. Yeah. What, like with rice? Mmm. That is so delicious. And you get these little crisps. Mmm, red. Get all fancy. Fancy. And we have someone just performing right in front of us. So cool. Okay, that was delicious. Now on to our beignets. So this is what they look like. Oh. <laughs> Baby, it's a while. Hey, you get one too. That reminds me of a donut. Yeah. yeah. Reminds me of a donut. I like that. It's kind of like a mixture of a donut and a scone. The icing sugar is so nice on top. I get them again, but they're like 10 euro. <laughs> okay, we have arrived at Lafitte. Lafitte. We got the infamous purple drink, and let me tell you something, it's gorgeous. So it's a slushy, a voodoo daiquiri, which to me tastes like the brain liquors. You know those alien drinks? That's exactly what this tastes like. It's delicious. I think it's like grape flavor or something yeah. like that. Let me tell you something. The sun is shining, the drinks are sweet. Mmm. <laughs> Let me just get above my seat to do that. <laughs> oh, that's we have left the bar. We're walking with our drinks and we're going to Sephora. Which we haven't been to yet here. So yeah, we're going to check out Sephora. See what that's about. So strangest thing ever there's a sign on the outside being like oh you can't come in because we don't have enough staff but if you know what you want you can let them know and they'll go get it for you and they're like oh, it's just today because we're short staffed i was like that's just bizarre could you imagine that at home they were like no no we don't care if you have, if there's not enough staff yeah. you will work yeah. you'll work the job with three or four people anyways we're going to go into urban outfitters instead Okay, we are back in the apartment. We got a takeaway from Sweet Soul Food. Yeah. Let me just break this down for y'all. Mac and cheese, fried cauliflower, buffalo? Buffalo. Or barbecue? Barbecue, barbecue fried cauliflower, yeah. something like that. Corn. Corn chowder. Corn chowder. Corn bread. Oh my good days. Okay, not great lighting. I'm gonna try the mac and cheese first, but I'm gonna face this way. Oh my god, it's really unique. That's delicious. I'm gonna try some of the BBQ cauliflower. Oh, say no more. Say no fucking more. The actual fried cauliflower. Oh my god. I'm so glad we came here. <laughs> the corn chowder. Oh, I don't think you're gonna like that. No? Oh! Just like a heat in it. Oh, I love it. But it's very corny. There's rice in there, by the way. Yeah, I just seen that. So there's rice in the corn chowder. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. I'm gonna take a little taste of the bread, the corn bread. Delicious. Every single thing. Delicious. Okay, we are going out to a jazz bar. So yesterday when we were at Buffalo Exchange, the, I think I said this, but the girl that served us, she's playing tonight at a bar. So we're gonna go check that out. And online it's a jazz bar, so it'll be good to see. And we have to see some jazz while we're here in New Orleans. 
New Orleans. Yeah, we're just gonna go check it out. Might not even stay long. She's on a half seven and then she has another set on a half nine. But yeah, we'll just see what it's like. Play for you. I'm in the same outfit from earlier, except I've got my jumper on me now, but I put also my docks on just to change it up a little bit. <laughs> talking low because don't want the airbnb get or people to hear us so we the place that we were meant to go you had to pay 25 euro in i mean you were like mm. it's not that we didn't want to pay it in but we just i don't know watch those pennies gotta what first of all gotta watch those pennies neither of us earn an income but also like we didn't even know if we were going to stay there for long anyway yeah. so like if we were paying 25 quid in we'd want to be staying for Full the full time yeah so we were probably only going to be out for like an hour an hour and a bit anyways so you would have seen we just went into it was like the apple apple something apple apple barrel, apple barrel or something Par yeah something like that and they had the coolest oh, band playing like i think they were i'll put their name on the screen i took a picture hobo gadget junk oh. band hobo gadget junk band yeah. and like oh, yeah. all their instruments. instruments looked like they were from like a junkyard yeah. like even the guitars and all i've never seen anything like them they look like they were made out of tin yeah and there was one instrument which i fucking was obsessed with it looked like um a washing washerboard a washerboard and he was like rubbing his fingers along it but he had like um sewing you know those protectors that you put over your fingers a thimble a thimble yeah yeah and he was just like playing it with his fingers and then it had like a little disc kind of like that you'd have on drums and then there was like a can and he'd also, like he'd be hitting that as well it was so cool they were so 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 good one of the highlights actually to be fair oh my God. i've never seen nothing like that known about that place yes if you're ever in new orleans go to frenchman street because it was so, so good cool. Yeah, it was, and it was, it's so much different to the French Quarter. Bourbon Street. Yeah. Bourbon, Bourbon Street. Yeah. It's so different. It definitely feels like locals go there. Like, there's definitely still tourists, yeah. but, like, it doesn't feel as touristy. It was so cool. So, yeah. so, so cool. So happy we went out because we were on, like, we were kind of like, mm, will we, won't we? But we were like, we have to see jazz. Anyways, I'm going to end this vlog here because it's the end of New Orleans. New Orleans, baby. Nola. Thank you so much for watching. It has been the best time we love you nova we love you we love you i would definitely come back it's so cool yeah. here next stop alabama if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i shall see you all in alabama bye